All right, so now we can share the heading. So the heading is here, no space and、um, type still feature and summary. We will say stores and date of graffiti data tags will be Pittsburgh, and then graffiti date analyze. And we will publish. And once we have headings, we will publish for Pittsburgh. So、um, we can see that the x and y coordinates. Y is the latitude,、um, and x is the longitude. So perfect in Pittsburgh. Select Pittsburgh and web layer. Publish web layer, and this one will be Pittsburgh. Kathy in summary, Pittsburgh. Boundary, boundary, and tags will be Pittsburgh, and then we will have a boundary. Perfect. I analyze, publish. So now we will create a publish heading in Graffiti Web Layer Task. Currently, the task and task designer pane. Should be closed. We can open or add a task from the category pane.、Um, we will. We have it here. So we can see the tasks is right here. Prepare graffiti data for ArcGIS Online.、Um, that's our task. So open the catalog pane. Expense tasks. Right click. Prepare this. Prepare graffiti data for ArcGIS Online. Uh, right click on it and add it in Designer cell, and click New Task button. New Task, New Group, New Task. All right. So New Task, and for the Task Designer for name, it will be B. We'll say Two Share Web Layer. Share Web Layers. And for the description, we will say has steps. Okay, one, one. All right, sharing, share, heading, web layer, and two, share graffiti, web layer. And now we will save the project. There. And now we will create. The share heading,、uh, share heading web layer step in the task pane with the share web layer task selected. So, right here, share web layer selected.、Um, in the task pane, here we selected and click the new step button. So new step. All right. So new step in the task designer for name. We will say. Share heading web layer layer, and then for the instruction, we will type one in the contents pane. Right click, right click heading your name, and click over right. Web layer two. Click my content. Select heading your name and click OK. And number three. Number three. In the warning window. Click. Okay, number four. Click publish. 
number five, click um, when publishing finishes close the overwrite web layer window. For step behavior, we will say auto run. Perfect. All right. And then back in the um, task pane, we will click back arrow. So this is right here. And add a new step to share. Um, add a new step to share web layer test using steps one and two, replacing heading the name with graffiti with your name. So add a new step to share web layer task using steps one and steps two. Add a new steps, okay. All right, use steps one and two and replacing heading with the name graffiti, all right. Graffiti, Kathy. So instruction, we will say one I, all right. In the contents pan, right click heading your name and click over right web layer number two will be click my content select heading your name and click ok all right it will be select auto run perfect and go to save and okay back there so repeat both tasks prepare data and publish web layer of the graffiti data for ArcGIS online task item first resymbolize graffiti with a single symbol that we can see when the create graffiti feature class step of the prepare data task runs creating graffiti again and symbolizing with uh, unique values when we run the enter step of the same text we enter june 3rd when we finish we save the project and close the arcgis pro so this is just weird uh, why the tasks has to repeat and repeat again all right so now we will create a map for operations dashboard so we create a map in ArcGIS Online that we will reuse each time. New graffiti and heading web um, layers are shared. To run here, we have to have uh, everything published um, here, and we add we will add the published web layer to a map and then create pop-up windows uh, in ArcGIS Online and the bookmark. So now we're gonna go to ArcGIS Online. So once we are on ArcGIS Online, I'm going to sign in there and click map on the main toolbar right here. So um, now we will do is click add contents to the map. So add contents to the map. So add button and search for layers, search for layers. Um, now in the search for layer pan, we will say my content, select my content, find in my content. All right, so find, using find search and click add Pittsburgh. Let's see, Pittsburgh. Oh, I found Pittsburgh Kathy. Okay, Pittsburgh Kathy. Um, graffiti. Hatting graffiti. All right. Pittsburgh. Click add. Oh, there. There. So we have Pittsburgh and Hatting and graffiti. There. So adding Pittsburgh first makes it 
the default extent. So we click uh, down adding layers and change the base map to light gray canvas. So base map, light gray canvas, there. And if light gray canvas is not available, select another simple base map, but here it's available. In the contents pane, expand light gray um, canvas, click world light canvas reference to expose its more option um, button. So, all right. Reference or base, expand, click world light gray canvas base. Yep. Mm -hmm. Reference to expose its more option. There, more option. And then click remove. Remove. All right. So let's double check again. We have in the contents pane, we expand the light gray reference, world light gray canvas reference. Mm -hmm. This is base. Okay, the reference, I'm going to say remove more option. So we click the clips and remove. Yes, remove layer. So the label of the uh, reference layer cluster uh, cluttered the map. So we remove them. Users of the map know Pittsburgh well and do not need the labels. So I, but I do, but it's okay. Oh, we don't need that. So in the contents pane, we will jack the graffiti, your name layer on the top. Graffiti. Graffiti heading, graffiti map. Oh, it's already on top. Um, in the contents, Jack graffiti name on top. Jack heading name below Pittsburgh. Heading graffiti below Pittsburgh. I don't think I can Jack, so we can say move down. All right, Pittsburgh heading so the jack heading below pittsburgh so pittsburgh heading below pittsburgh heading move down there move down again Heading, okay, Pittsburgh, okay. And this steps makes the legend that we will find, um, does that show up? I'm gonna expand it. All right. So this step makes the legend that we will build in operation. So, like gray canvas, it's fine. We have a too many layers here, so I'm gonna remove some. Okay, like this one, I think it's a duplicate. Let's remove it. All right, so I'm gonna remove. Yes, remove this layer. We have a Pittsburgh, we have a graffiti, but depends, it's a heading. Heading Kathy. okay, we have a two of this. I'm gonna remove one of it. All right, heading Kathy. that's fine. Uh, let's find which one is still duplicate yet. This one is duplicate. And why I have, let me figure it out. Pittsburgh, Kathy, Hatting, Pittsburgh, Kathy, Graffiti, Hatting, Kathy, Hatting, Graffiti, Hatting, Kathy, Hatting, Kathy. There was no more Hatting, Kathy. Graffiti map, Graffiti map, Hatting, Pittsburgh, Graffiti. All right. Oh, it's crazy. All right, Pittsburgh Kathy. Do I have a Pittsburgh Kathy already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's leave it for now. We will figure it out. So this step makes the legend that we will build in Operation Dashboard more compare, uh, compact because we can cover up the top part that will have a legend for Pittsburgh and heading. So leaving only the legend for graffiti visible. Also, the Operations Dashboard pop-up window that we will build automatically uh, shows data for the first layer in the contents pane, graffiti first, and then the user wants to see graffiti data. And now we will save the map. Um, we're going to save the map, save. All right, so the title, we will say graffiti map. Kathy with a text will be Pittsburgh and 
um, graffiti. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh graffiti. Summary will be current graffiti map. On